What's good, YouTube? It's your boy K Sun. We back with another banger. That's right, you heard me. Another banger, banger, banger. And today we're gonna be talking about the 20 most poisonous spiders in the world. It sounds a little creepy to me, but listen, before I get into anything, I want to congratulate everybody. I appreciate all the subs, guys. We just hit 2,000. Let's pop the champagne bottles and let's get straight into this video. More than 43,000 different species of spiders are found in the world. Of these, only a small number are said to be dangerous, and less than 30 have been responsible for human death. Their four pairs Crazy. of eyes, eight legs, and generally ugly appearance makes them freaky creatures. Here are the top 20 oh, most man. spiders oh, in the world. Oh, man. bug out, bro. Brown recluse spider. Mm. Brown recluse spiders are considered the most venomous spider in the United States. If bitten, victims could experience fever, convulsions, itching, nausea, and muscle pain. In extreme cases, they could also experience necrosis, death of the skin tissue. Brown recluse spider bites usually occur well indoors and as a defense mechanism if they are crushed or rolled over in bed. Some bites will oh, present with man. a uticarial rash. If the bite is more severe, the course usually is as follows. The initial bite will be painless, but over the subsequent two to eight hours, it will become increasingly painful. That's crazy. Wolf spider. This largest spider has prominent eyes that shine in the light. They range between a half inch and two inches long. Wolf spiders are usually gray with brown to dark gray markings. That's Wolf spider bites look like other yeah. bites. You may notice a red bump that's also itchy and swollen. It usually goes away within a few days. Unless you actually see the wolf spider bite you, it's usually difficult to determine what bit you. That's crazy. Black widow. Spider. Black widow, bro. Oh man. For more than 2500 visits to poison control centers every year in the United States. It is one species that can be found in the United States and parts of Canada throughout Latin America and the West Indies. The Bro. most common member of Lactrodectus in North America, it makes its home in a variety of settings, such as woodpiles, burrows, or among plants that serve as supports for its webs. The female is shiny black and usually has a reddish to yellow hourglass design on the underside of the spherical abdomen. Mm. Sydney funnel web spiders. Never heard of that the one before. The spider sits in the narrow funnel waiting for prey to contact the web. When this happens, the spider rushes out and captures the insect prey at the funnel's mouth. Mm. Brown bulky spiders are much feared in southern and eastern Australia. Oh, these spiders just look spiders. crazy, bro. Several human deaths from the bites of these venomous spiders have been reported in the Sydney area since the 1920s. An antidote to the main toxin in their venom has been developed, which is effective if administered to victims soon after they've been bitten. I would just Brown have that on deck just because. Brown widow spider is thought to have evolved in Africa, but the first specimen described came from South America. It is classified as an invasive species elsewhere around the world. Brown widow populations have appeared in Southern California, the Caribbean, the U.S. states of the Gulf Coast, as uh -huh. well as Japan, South Africa, and Madagascar, Australia, and Cyprus. The species makes its home in buildings, inside old tires and under mm. automobiles, Bro. as well as among shrubs and other vegetation. Yo, did you see that underneath the door trap handle? Door spider. The bite of the trapdoor spider is of low risk to humans. It is a non-aggressive spider and is usually timid. However, it may stand that up and is present its crazy. Trapdoor spiders rarely bite. However, Yo. if they do, it can be very painful. Brown trapdoor spiders are often mistaken for funnel web spiders. However, their bite are not as dangerous. Bro, how do they know when to come out? Swelling may occur. Sigillate trapdoor spider bites may also cause local pain and swelling. There is one report of an unspecified severe effects from a sigillate trapdoor spider bite. Crazy. Six sand spider. It is a medium-sized spider with a body measuring 8 to 15 millimeters and legs spanning up to <laughs> Yo, 50 millimeters. Come with sand, bro. Deserts and other sandy places. In <laughs> oh Africa. my Due God! Stance and ladder-grade legs. It is These also spiders are something known else, as man. the six-eyed crab spider. Bites by Sicarius to humans are uncommon. They are no proven cases, and only two suspected cases where the culprit was never identified. Sicarius bites have been experimentally shown as lethal to rabbits within 5 to 12 hours. Mm. One amazing fact is the genus named Sicarius is Latin for murderer from Sica, a curved dagger. You hear that? Red Widow Spider. 
The There's a red. Distinguished from yo, other the spiders size of that thing is. Cephalothorax and legs, and it's reddish brown to black. Look at the size abdomen. of that thing. Many red widow spiders have a red mark on the underside of the abdomen, which may be either bro. shaped, triangle shaped, or indistinct. The bro, that looks like a red or orange, and each spot tick. surrounded by a yellow or white outline. The leg span of an adult female is one and a half to two inches. Nah, the male is only about a third of that size. That is crazy. Hobo, spider. Hobo spiders were originally thought to cause horrible lesions if a human was bitten, but mm. recently studies have dispelled this notion. While they are not considered medically threatening, their venom can cause redness, swelling, and twitching for several hours. Usually, these most dangerous spiders choose to hide in dark places and moist areas, mm. such as wood piles, basements, retaining walls, large cracks, crevices, or other cavities in rock walls, foundations, or other constructions. That's crazy, bro. They often bro. have a light stripe running down the middle of their bodies. Noble False Widow one of the more poisonous spiders found in England, the noble false widow spider is the most venomous of three types of false widow spiders. Uh. Its bite causes pain, swelling, nausea, and fact is, if it becomes infected, it can lead to gangrene. Although false what? widows do have a venomous bite, the venom is not particularly potent. Usually the only symptom is pain at the site which may radiate away from the bite. It ordinarily lasts between 1 and 12 hours, and rarely more than 24 hours. Oh my Often, gosh. Often, the symptoms are no worse than the pain of a wasp sting. Crazy. Red back spider. It's native to Australia, but it has spread to New Zealand. Bro, all these Japan, spiders look like the black widow spots. spider. The spider often builds nests and webs on gray Like, you don't know... Bunches. This one of the most poisonous. Bro, that looked like a black widow spider, bro. Australia, living in all of the continent's varied environments, except for its hottest deserts and frigid mountaintops. The species is also found in urban areas, frequently making nests in human dwellings. The redback is identified by its prominent red stripe or hourglass shaped mark on its black colored back. This mark is more noticeable on female redbacks than on males. <sighs> White tailed spider. The venom from the white-tailed spider is listed as non-lethal. It okay. has not been shown to cause necrotic ulcers, which could result in the need for amputation. Uh? There has never been any clear evidence necrotizing arachnidism, the name given to a syndrome where the skin blisters and ulcerates following spider Yo, that is has been crazy. seen in Australia. There is currently no clinical test to determine if you have been bitten by a spider. And there is no blood or swab test that can be performed to positively identify what spider it is if a bite is suspected. Yo, it looks like Australia has some crazy stuff out there, bro. Spirophaeus black wally. This species is widespread in Britain and Northern Europe. They are commonly found in Britain, around and inside houses, mm. usually in the autumn, and also under bark and in holes and walls in warmer parts of Europe. It hunts nocturnally. The adult males of these spiders reach 9 millimeters in length, maturing in the early summer, while females reach 12 it's millimeters hairy. and can be found until autumn. The it's carapace hairy. is dark brown, while the abdomen is brown or gray with hairs resembling Bro, the body of it's animals. hairy, bro. Catapost spider. Oh Native my Zealand, god. The catapost spider is endangered. Only the female is capable of biting a person, but their bite isn't thought to be lethal, but rather unpleasant. By unpleasant, we include symptoms like abdominal cramping, sweating, fever, and shaking. Catapo bites are very uncommon and oh. while likely to be unpleasant, are not likely to prove lethal. Typical symptoms include pain at the side of the bite, may spread I kid to you not areas, like becoming more intense over the hours that follow. Do you see his hand? Cupboard All these spider. The cupboard spider is dangerous ones look dangerous like Black humans. Widow. For most people, their reactions to venom are similar to a wasp sting. I don't want to get stung by a wasp. there have been a few cases where more serious symptoms were recorded. The female cover spider could be easily mistaken for a red back spider, but lacks the distinctive red stripe on the back. Both spiders are from the same family, Theridiitae, so they are closely related. However, the covered spider is not considered as dangerous as its mm. red back relative. Chilean recluse spider. Mm? While What's death that? resulting from their bites is very uncommon, the Chilean recluse spider can cause serious symptoms such as skin irritation and death of skin cells. Mm. The application of an ice pack helps as first aid because the venom is more active at high temperatures. Applying aloe vera may soothe and help control the pain. 
The spider should be brought with the patient in a clear, tightly closed container for identification if it can be captured. The Chilean recluse spider is native to South America. Tiger wandering spider. Yo, oh, oh, oh. The tiger wandering spider is similar to the Brazilian <gasps> tiger. Spider. Oh it my has a god! Of toxic venom and is known to cause severe pain among other symptoms. Upon bro, pain. look this at is that thing. A female at about 3.5 Bro, look at that thing, bro. The conspicuous feature is the pale marking on the abdomen. This one of the biggest spiders is gray and brown in color, with darker longitudinal stripes this on the second and dark bands on the first segment of the legs. Its venom has been extensively studied for its bactericidal and insecticidal properties. Mm. Yellow sack spider. A rare complication can Yellow occur when bitten by one of these spiders is rotting of the flesh. Yellow sack spider venom contains cytotoxin, which can create necrosis in the bite wound. Oh my god. For this god. reason, bites from yellow sack spiders are often mistaken for the bite of a brown recluse. That's it crazy. It is important to understand that brown recluse venom is much more potent than the venom of a yellow sack spider. I want to see number one, guys. I don't know what one number one is. This anima bite can be This is crazy. Dangerous. Red-headed mouse spider. Mouse spider. Female red-headed mouse Yo, spider. Yo, fun of that thing. Copious amounts of highly toxic venom. Yo. Potentially as dangerous as that of the Sydney funnel web spider. Oh my mouse spider god. Venom may be toxic, but very few cases of serious envenomation have been recorded. Bro, if I see that, I'm running. Occurred, causing minor effects. Forget about stepping funnel on it. I'm running. Anti venom has proved effective in the one confirmed case. Until more toxicity data is available, it is rooted to treat oh us for funnel spider bite, especially if the victim is a child. What is the most dangerous spider? Woo! Have you ever seen any Guys, that was crazy. That was that was really crazy. Honestly speaking, like they had about like four or five spiders in here. I mean Comment down below. I, I don't know if it was just me tripping, but four or five of them look like the same type of spider. Like, they all had different red backs, but the shape was different of the red. Like, it's crazy. So, you don't even know what you're around, even if you need to medical assistance or anything like that. It was crazy. Listen, guys, comment below. Tell me how you like this video. And I think I might have to look into something with Australia because it's like australia has some crazy stuff going on right so if you're not part of the straight into it family guys comment below don't forget to hit that like button smash it at that and don't forget to subscribe until the next time we see you later peace